Hello everyone, it's Boss. Let me begin the video whose name is Basic Master Part 1 regarding Cylindrical Coordinate System. What is Coordinate System? It's necessary to express the position of each point in 3D space. And cylind Cylindrical Coordinate System is for describing a lot of figures, for example, like these, cylinder, cone, etc. Well, for various reasons, you are here for studying cylindrical coordinates. So let's see this first. This is x axis and y axis, z axis. And we could draw the line whose name is R, on XY plane. Then let's call this angle theta. And we could talk about the situation that minute angle moves. D theta. Then this red arc is R D theta owing to arc formula. Right? Now, Let's draw a figure over there. Let's draw a figure which have a minute volume and connect the line like this. Then we may realize that this orange length is expressed by dr, which means minute length whose direction is of radius. Minute length whose direction is of radius. How about this red arc? Yes, R D theta, R D theta, as same as the arc on XY plane. And on the left side, look at that Z axis. Refer to the name of the axis, the length of this green line of minute volume is expressed by dz. Finally, we could express the size of minute volume. The size of the minute volume is dv is r d theta dr dz. Well, it seems to be, it seems a lot easier for you to understand this mathematical expression by multiplying by the three length which is r d theta dr dz. So minute volume normally called dv is r dr d theta dz. In addition, as we already saw, this the three coordinate component in cylindrical coordinate system is r theta Z. Wow, we have some basic concepts of it already. However, how could we express this rectangular coordinate component by cylindrical coordinate? Well, um, this is x, y, z, so it is a little bit difficult. In fact, this problem is easily solved by thinking about this right right angle triangle. When we call the hypotenuse, hypotenuse of this triangle R, and this angle theta, then by the definition of cosine and sine, cosine and sine, the base is R cosine theta, and the height is R sine theta. If you understand this picture, let's look at this picture again. Like this, I drew the each line which is parallel to x and y axis. Because of this right angle, the length whose direction, the length whose direction is of x is r cosine theta, and the length whose direction is of y of y is r sine theta. 
Thus, x is expressed by r cosine theta, y is expressed by r sine theta, and z is just g, right? Yes. Guys, then, how about superficial content, not volume, for superficial content, expressed by cylindrical coordinate system? Would you look at this picture? As you already know, as we already know, the length of this red arc is r d theta. And this green length, green length is d z. So the minute superficial content is just expressed by r d theta d z. But the more important thing is when the value of r is a, the formula is expressed like this. And the value of r is b, the formula is expressed like this, b d theta dz. Well, let me summarize the formulas until now. x is r cosine theta, y is r sine theta, and z is z. Yes, and formula of dA is like this, plus formula of dV is like this, r dr d theta dz. Just multiply this. Well, before we finish studying this part, may I ask you a question? Could you express, could you express this formula by cylindrical coordinate system? If you want to solve my question for you now, you may stop this video for a moment. Yes, okay, it seems that you see this video continuously because you know the answer to this question now. The answer is the square of r. The mathematical reason is this formula. The square of cosine theta plus the square of sine theta is 1, the formula of cosine and sine. As we know, x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta, so put the value in each component x and y. So like this, like this, this uh, a equation is like this. Then we can put together like this, right? So the answer is the square of r owing to the equation over there. Actually, we could realize that the square of r is the square of radius of circle on xy plane. As you could see now, with this triangle. Did you understand this total content? If you have any questions of my video, please leave some comment. Wow, thanks a lot for your participating in studying cylindrical coordinate system in this video. I hope you will be able to see next video. Have a nice day. Thanks.